Hi, welcome to True Crime Talk. This is Kathleen. In this video, I just wanted to read another article regarding the New York couple who went missing 44 years ago. And it appears that they have their, their bodies and their vehicle and belongings have now been found in a Georgia pond. It says, car tied to wealthy New York couple missing for 44 years pulled from Murky Pond. The bombshell discovery was made by a pair of volunteer divers from Florida. And this story was published today, November 28, 2024. And happy Thanksgiving, by the way. And I thought this was kind of a happy story because even though these people are deceased, even though they um, apparently died in the pond 44 years ago, at least it appears that it was a total accident and they were not the victims of murder. So it was just a, a true accident and it appears to be, or at this point, it appears to be a true accident and that they just, you know, at least we can say they died together. But also what makes me happy is now their family knows they have grown grandchildren and probably great grandchildren too, who now know or are going to know what happened to their grandparents because it's always been a family mystery and they've always wondered what happened to their grandparents and now they finally get the answers and it's sad and tragic that it happened and it's sad and tragic that it took this long to find them and they were right next to the hotel that they were staying at at the time but we'll read this article to get some more information about what possibly took it so long. It says a wealthy New York couple vanished without a trace in Georgia 44 years ago, but it appears it took a pair of volunteer divers just seven minutes to discover what are likely their car and remains submerged in a murky pond near a hotel they had been staying in. Retired oil executive Charles Romer, 73, and his wife Catherine, 75, disappeared with their 1978 Lincoln in the spring of 1980. The Scarsdale, New York couple were returning home from Miami Beach, Florida and checked into a Holiday Inn in Brunswick, Georgia. Hotel employees were concerned that their bed had not been slept in and reported them missing. Fears were raised that the couple, known to carry expensive jewelry, had been victims of foul play and robbed. And here's a picture of the car. They drained the lake so you can see more of the car now. And this is the couple. And this is one of the divers, the diver who works for free, by the way, who is pulling parts of the car out of the lake or the pond. And then the when they was pulling the car out, it apparently pieces of it broke off. So then they decided to just leave it alone and drain the lake. The hotel is situated next to a pond which diver Mike Sullivan tells Fox News Digital had been searched many times before, but terrible visibility had here to two, here the two prevented searchers from making a breakthrough. But the cold case suddenly heated up on Friday when Sullivan and his brother John Martin searched the pond in their tiny six-foot-long boat and their specialized sonar equipment pinged a vehicle at the bottom of the pond. Sullivan says he quickly dived to the bottom of the lake and pulled the nose from a 1978 Lincoln. He says human remains and a spate of jewelry were also found in the car. We got to the pond at about 10 a.m. in the morning and we found the car by 10.07 a.m., seven minutes later, Sullivan says. The pair who operate Sunshine State Sonar, a Florida-based volunteer search and rescue organization, then called the police who arrived on the scene. And here's the car, another picture of the car, as the pond is drained. The Glen County Police Department and the Camden County Dive Team then tried to pull the Lincoln from the water and in doing so spun the car around and ripped the axle off the car, video provided by Sullivan shows. He says police then drained the pond to reveal the badly deteriorated car, which he says they, they eventually removed. The vehicle is similar to the description of a vehicle that Charles and Catherine Romer were believed to be driving when reported missing in April 1980, Glen County Police Department said in a statement. At this time, there is no conclusion about the identity of the remains that were found. Police did not say what happened to the car or the people found inside. And here's a couple more pictures. This is actually the back seat of the car. And CRR was embroidered, embroidered 
on the back seat of the car. And this is an axle with a wheel. Sullivan is convinced the remains are those of the couple and believes that they may have inadvertently reversed into the pond while trying to park and drowned in a tragic accident. Sullivan says that the couple's Lincoln was custom made and the back seat of the car they discovered had their initial CRR embroidered. The roamers checked into the Holiday Inn along Interstate 95 and US 341 just before 4 p.m. on April 8, 1980 and took their belongings to the room. At about 5 p.m., a Georgia Highway Patrol officer saw the couple's car south of Brunswick near some restaurants, and neither the roamers nor their car was seen again. It looks as if they were parking at the diner, and he accidentally stepped on the gas pedal when he was parking, and they backed into the lake, Sullivan says. He must have had the car in reverse, and he stepped on the gas because the headlights are facing the shore. He backed into the lake accidentally. Sullivan says police found diamonds worth tens of thousands of dollars wrapped in the carpet of the trunk. We also found a diamond ring, necklace, a gold purse, a gold diamond purse. We also found stuff with their initials on it and stuff, he says. The closeness of the pond to the hotel and the length of time it has taken to make a breakthrough in the case has raised questions as to why a discovery was not made earlier. The pond has been checked many, many times throughout the years because it was literally a hundred yards from their hotel room. The problem is the sonar technology was not available back in 1980, Sullivan says. Divers would go in the pond and swim around and feel for the car, but with zero visibility, it is very difficult to find a car doing that. Sometimes you get lucky, it's very difficult, but they tried, you know, they probably came within feet of the car but just didn't find it. Sullivan says they were initially called to the scene about a tip about a Ford sedan which had reportedly gone into the water. He says no bodies were found near that vehicle. He says that the work of Sunshine State Sonar is done for free. Nobody hires us. We work with law enforcement agencies on cold cases and we take these cases on for free. Pro bono, Sullivan says. We specialize in underwater sonar and we are also a dive team. We have a database of all cases of people missing with their vehicles. These are specific types of missing persons cases where the victim's vehicle has never been recovered. And so what we do is we go to the area of the last known whereabouts and we search all the water where these people were last seen or last known to be. And the reason we were at the, that pond is because that is the pond in front of the hotel that they were staying at. So, wow, it looks like after all these years, they finally found them right near their hotel that they were staying at in the pond. So I guess it all comes down to the technology we have today. They didn't have it back then. And even though a pond is not that large of a body of water, they just couldn't find the car back then. They couldn't, they didn't get to it because of, you know, poor visibility. They didn't have the technology that they have today. And so finally... After 44 years, they were able to find it. So that's great for the family. It's, um, you know, sad and tragic, but it's also good news for Thanksgiving that this family now knows what happens, happened to their grandparents. It's always been a family mystery. And so now the grandchildren and great-grandchildren and future great-great-grandchildren, they'll all know what happened to their grandparents and know that they weren't victims of murder, that they just died in a tragic accident.